once we've completed our drainage layout design, including drainage areas, catch basins, conduits, gutters, and end sections, and we've adjusted them in the design files, we can go ahead and perform our hydraulic analysis. All the options can be found under Drainage and Utilities under Analysis. The default for the KDOT workspace is a 10-year design storm. This can be adjusted, of course. To run the model, we'll go ahead and click Compute. And what we want is we want for convergence to be achieved, which it was in this case. It'll let us know that we're running a 10-year design storm. We can close out of this or we can take a look at the messages. You'll want to go through these messages and make sure that they're acceptable for the design. Pay attention particularly to the red exclamation points as those are critical issues. Many of the notifications you'll receive after running a model will be based off your default design constraints. This can help you review the model for errors. You can set defaults for velocity, cover, slope, inlet spread, and many other options. If you need to review the notifications from the model the last time it was run, there's an option here for that. If you want to change your design storm for a 50 or 100 year storm, you can open up the Compute Center and change it, run in the model, or you can come in here to your scenario manager, right click and make that current. Once you run the model, it'll be for that new design storm. Remember, if you're using different coefficients for runoff for different design storms, you'll want to adjust those in the model before you run it. After we've completed our layout and analysis and walked through the errors that we've seen in the system, we can go ahead and create profile runs now. Profile runs can be created in many different ways. You can do it for, to an outfall. Typically, I like to define it myself, doing a hydraulic run from a node. I'll go ahead and open my feature definition access, go to subsurface and profile run. And I'll click my start node and my end node and left click. To review the profile run I just created, I need to open my Explorer. And I'll come down here to Drainage and Utilities Model. I'll open this up. And then under the KDOT Design file, I have my profile runs here. Now I have this named as Profile Run, but you can go ahead and define it how you'd like by renaming it. What I'm going to do to open this up is I'll open up a new window. I'll right click and click Open Profile Model. You can see there's no design surface in here. To do that, I need to go and make a terrain active, and then it'll display. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my proposed terrain. I'm going to set it as active. And you can see it'll draw in the terrain on my profile. If you want to add an existing surface or terrain, you'll need to create a named boundary, which is in Drawing Production, Name Boundary. I'll go ahead and click 22 by 36 profile under Civil Profile. I'll select In the Drawing to set my start and end locations. And these can be adjusted. and this will create a named boundary. With my named boundary, I'll select the quick profile from surface and I'll locate my reference surface within the 2D model. And I'll reset and the existing surface is then drawn in the profile. Using other options in the named boundary function, 
You can also create sheet files for plant production or profiles that you can reference in for plant production. Also included from StormCAD is the option to open an analysis profile or an engineering profile. This is an analysis profile and you have options to add annotation, annotation tables, and a lot of customization there. You can also open up engineering profiles which are similar but have other customization as well. 